Hello everyone, I'm Marianne, the Artsy Crafter. Welcome to my channel. Uh, when you're creating layouts in your junk journals, um, you're really only limited by your own imagination as to the types of layout you come up with. I've seen uh, some beautiful layouts from other crafters on here on YouTube and in Pinterest and Instagram and you know Facebook and all those places and I've seen some absolutely wonderful and really imaginative and inspiring layouts uh, so I know you know the imagination can come up with some wild things I know that this week <laughs> my imagination has really taken a strange turn and I felt compelled to create an entire scene to use as a layout in my journal so the scene that I've come up with is uh, one that evokes an image of a dark and stormy night and I know the perfect setting uh, to view this storm, the storm I've imagined in my <laughs> head, uh, would be at a lookout very near where we live. Um, we actually spent a whole evening there with some friends one evening. Uh, we started off with watching a glorious sunset over the escarpments. One friend brought along a beautiful telescope, big chunky thing, so we could look at the stars more closely and wow, they were absolutely wonderful. So I thought that would be the place to go to view my, uh, you know, imaginative stormy sky. <laughs> so that's what I want to try and create today using images and cutouts that I've gathered together to use for this particular layout. So I hope you want to stay watching to see how it all turns out. And here's a kind of a view. I found this on um, Fixabay, I think, this image. So I'm going to create this and I'm going to create the layout first. On a base and of course the base has to be a paper bag doesn't it because <laughs> that's where I've gone this week with paper bags trying to use them all up to start with I'm going to cut this out my page layout uh, in my spring into March journal I'm using this page here it's about the only one that I could see that you know could evoke a dark and stormy night. So that's what I'm going to use. Uh, I don't have to do anything to the background. I'm just going to leave it as it is. I just need to cut the images out to the page and the image. And the, this page is going to have a flip out here and also a bottom pocket that flips down. And then the scene, this will be created here but I'll have to cut it all out to fit this page size and also this um, this edge so that's what I'm going to do so once I've done that I'll come back and I'll show you where I'm up to okay here's where I've gotten so far this is the flip out to the side and the flip out to the pocket that's going to come down and this is my stormy night <laughs> uh, to continue with this I've cut out some the images already that I'm going to use and one uh, I found an image of this I don't know whether you can pick it up you can see there's a dark mountain and the shades of the mountains go to the lightest at the back and darkest at the front so I've just cut this up to make a bottom pocket I think that matches up well it would help if I had it round the right way to match up <laughs> silly me Gee, it must be almost the end of the week, I think. <laughs> I'm going to put that there um, as a pocket. And this will be a separate pocket here. Um, because you don't want any bulk in the crease. If I line these up and then I get my pencil. And I draw the outline of the mountain range here. Like so. Then I can go and cut that out and glue this on and that will be my bottom pocket or well, the only pocket I know so I'll be back in a minute there we go there's our bottom pocket done the mountain so on this part here I cut out uh, I printed out two images of the Storby sky and I cut out a panel 
and I'm going to um, extend that sky across to here and glue that on so that's what I'll do next so it continues out and then when you open it up of course you've still got it there a little bit different but that doesn't really matter does it so I'll glue that on next There we go, kind of continues on. Um, I have no idea how this is all going to turn out. I hope it does work out. Otherwise, I, you can notice I haven't glued it into my journal so that if it doesn't turn out, uh, that's the one thing, you know, when you start with a, back, um, a backing page, you can uh, create a layout and then if you really don't like it, you can just toss it out or you know tear it up or <laughs> use it somewhere else so and um, that's the one of the beauties about doing it this way uh, so the next thing is I wanted to create a scene at the side some trees so I've got this one cut out and I left some uh, white on purpose so that it kind of so you've got a bit of the sun or the moon sorry in this instance I think it's the moon uh, shining on the tree and reflecting on the edges you know you see that silhouette silver silhouette on the edges of items you know when the moon is shining on them so I want to put that there and then I want got one of these that I was using uh, for that journal that I made with the paper bags if you haven't seen that journal I'll leave how I um, created that journal I'll leave a link in the description box below is a two-part video so I just want something uh, to denote the um, the foliage on the escarpment here we're pretending this is an escarpment and this is the it will become apparent as I go along because I'm building up in layers so this is the mountain this will be the escarpment um, overlooking on top of the mountain and overlooking the scene uh, the only thing I didn't get to put in because this is going to be a pocket I could have had a, you know a valley down below or um, some cliffs over on the other side but I couldn't find in the time I allowed myself to look I couldn't find anything so the other thing I have is I wanted um, I suppose this represents me <laughs> luckily it's a, only a silhouette <laughs> So, um, I can show it on camera. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to have this woman, she's going to be half on the page and half off, and she's looking out, and of course she's got the uh, glow on one side to reflect the light shining on her from the moon, uh, like I did with the tree. Um, first of all, I want to cover up this little patch here that didn't get covered up before. And I don't know whether I cut it out or not. I thought I had cut it out, but I'll put it up this way because that's the right way up. And yes, I had cut it out. <laughs> Luckily, <laughs> I found the right way up in the end. Uh, put that on there. So, yes. The imagination is a wonderful thing at times, a weird and wonderful thing. To complete this scene, I want to, um, I have some other images, but before I can put all this down, I want to put the escarpment here. So in order to do that, I uh, cut out this little rock here, but I didn't want just any um, rock for her to be standing on I made it into a little booklet so this here has got some pages in there and uh, I hope I didn't glue them together too much so that's a little booklet there and I'm going to glue glue the pages down too much going to uh, oh, that's right okay focus girl <laughs> I want to glue this onto this panel down here that's why I had to cover that up because it doesn't cover that entirely 
So that will be like that and then you just whip the pages out but to keep the pages closed I'm going to use her feet to do that hopefully. Um, to open the booklet you just open up like that and she can close them keep the booklet closed uh, so this tree is going to be there so instead of um, I don't want the tree behind I think it'll look a bit silly I want it to be a coordinated image or scene I should say so I'm going to mark where I want the tree and this here I'll mark this spot here where I'll have the tree on the background image and I'll have to cut this bit off here and I'll cut this here and separate it so it will still be on the on the escarpment it will look like it's on the escarpment but of course I need to open the booklet that's what we'll do there so I'll mark that make sure it's all in position here I should go ahead and glue that down first I guess it's about there I'll mark that on the back where I want to glue to and I'm going to because it's a little thick booklet oops my glue stuck lid stuck to me I'm going to use the fabric glue and um, It'll take a month of Sundays for it to come down. I must fill it up <laughs> before the next video. <laughs> Place that there and uh, wait a second for it to grab. And hopefully it didn't glue the back down. So clean off my mess. <laughs> glue tendrils on the bottom <laughs> okay there we go now I can position the tree where I want it I think that's a good position I will mark where this is going to go along that edge cut that off and I may as well do this while I'm at it cut that off there and glue it to the back and cut that bit off you can always cut that off when I uh, glued it down, but I don't want to add glue to there, so I'll cut it off now. And that bit off. And that bit. Okay, so I'll make sure I've got them all in the right position. <laughs> so glue that one on. First, I know it goes there and there. So hopefully I'll be able to get it in the right place. You see what I'm doing? I've backed these images onto some heavy cardstock. Uh, so that gives you that uh, dimensional uh, effect. As I said, I'm building up the image to give some depth to the scene. So, I mean, you could do all kinds of images, just all kinds of images, I should say all kinds of scenes you could create using just little bits and pieces uh, you know you can get a, some free images off the internet I got some this one here the stormy sky I got from I think uh, where did I get it from from uh, Pixabay I think I got that stormy sky from and I'll cut this the extra off later on and glue this bit down. This was a bit like our weather last week. 
<laughs> stormy skies. We had some weird weather here this week at the beginning of the week. I had jumper on and the heater on because it was cold. It got up to about 17 and it was raining and for the first two days I think, two or three and then uh, I think it was uh, yesterday the sun came out and then today I had to, I'm in summer and I need the fan on. There we go and I didn't get my, hopefully I can lift this up to get that tree, tree, get that little um, plant behind there. So hurry up before the glue dries. Otherwise we'll have to cut it off, cut the end off. I think I'll get it in there. Cut a bit off <laughs> just to make it a bit easier. This is what happens uh, when you're talking and not uh, concentrating on what you're doing. So I hope her feet will be strong enough to keep that closed. We'll soon find out, won't we? It's going to be a matter of not gluing her feet, but I have to glue her. Oh, I can't do that because I stuck that to there. <laughs> Good one. So there and there. Can't because that's all stuck to there, so I can't. Uh, yeah, do that. <laughs> okay. Do not glue on the other side of that line. That's, and I might use the fabric glue because this she's going to be on the edge there and the flap's going to be opening and shutting and there's pressure to keep this close so I think uh, fabric glue would be a good idea. Oh, I forgot to mention include don't glue her feet. What did I say before? <laughs> I don't listen to myself sometimes. Yeah. Hopefully, I got enough off. And it's a matter of getting it back in the same position. I don't want her dress. I could have a dress. Don't want a dress above, I don't think. It's hard to know exactly where to put her until you do put her down. This all opens up together. I think that worked out well. Can you see that? The only trouble is I've got this here, but that's no problem because I can, uh, I won't do it today. Oh, I nearly took, tried to take that off. <laughs> thinking it was a scrap. I can just get some paint and paint that black. So that's no problems with that. That's our scene. The other little thing I wanted to add uh, of course is some birds flying and because they had to be white to show up on the dark sky. I've got two little birds here and this is got to be the smallest cutout that I've ever cut out before. <laughs> Absolutely tiny. <laughs> so I'll have them flying away like something like that anyways. I know it's a bit of a dark and stormy and strange layout this week, but uh, that's the image. As I said, her feet, see if her feet work to keep this close. And it's a little bit stiff uh, with all the glue. <laughs> and hopefully won't be opening this up too many times. But it does work just a matter of sliding it under I think and then back that way then I haven't closed that pocket up yet have I so I'll do that now on all sides so close this end and then I like to close the middle bit 
ja. So to go into our pocket, I got this Arthur Ruckman image, uh, girl being blown away by the wind. I thought that was very fitting and the colours went with this layout. She can go in here, so I'll open that up and get rid of some of this glue hopefully. So that can go in there as a journal card and then I made this little tag here of the birdie in the branches there so they're down below and I made these the butterflies it's a three layer butterfly so the la the back layer is white with some image on there and then the book page coffee dye book page and then the top one is black and I needed a little bit of bling so that because uh, it's night time so they <laughs> uh, it's kind of emphasizes that reflection from the moon shining down and it's shining on the butterfly um, I don't think butterflies fly around at night but these this one does that's just the reflection of the moon on the wings and then these here are like like uh, the fine wings on the butterfly there and then you can't really see the white panel at the back but I did it in the shape of the wings of a, of a butterfly so and then I just backed them on some grey dyed paper I dyed this like I do with the coffee dye just add some grey paint to a tray of water and uh, soak the pages in so that's how that's created anyway that's the layout for this week and I've got to keep pushing on that glue and as I said this is from my imagination. <laughs> you can see where it's gone, but uh, when we, you know, we can create all these different things, and um, you you're working in a, especially you know when you're working in a journal, you can just, you know, the sky's the limit as to what you can create. If it emo evokes a memory or a thought or whatever, so just remember the next time you're writing. In your journal and you're writing perhaps your thoughts or your memories and uh, just think of uh, you know creating a pictorial representation representation of those moments or thoughts that you'd like to keep a record of especially there's some that we don't want to have a record a pictorial rep um, record of but uh, you know those ones where as I said this is the memory and this here when I look at this it'll remind me of the night that we went up there and we watched the sunset and we looked at the stars and and then you know maybe one night stormy night we might go for a drive up there and have a look at the storm from there so yes these are the kinds of things that we can do and we can put in our journal to help us especially if I don't I couldn't find any photos to show and I do have photos of that night I'll have to go through and have a look to see where they are because they're obviously somewhere <laughs> on one of my hard drives of the night we had up there um, you know looking at the sunset and those and the stars so if I can find that I'll just show you an image of that but if I can't I have it in my journal and this is my memory of that night well not that particular night but my memory of uh, it evokes the memories of that night and the possibility of going up there and uh, at the lookout and having a look at a storm coming over so yes that's it for today so I hope you enjoyed that and you understand my thought process and why I created this we're not limited to just you know scraps and images and whatnot we can actually use scraps and that to create a photographic scene for ourselves you know when we do work in our journals these kinds of things you know you I suppose you may see more in a art journal or maybe a glue book or whatever but I just thought you know you're not limited to just putting those kinds of uh, layouts in those books in those journals you can put them in your personal journal just before uh, I finish for today I will show you I'll put this into the journal glue that in and then i'll come back and show you how it looks
So there we go, it's all nicely glued into my book on that page that I designated. It fitted in well, thank goodness. So it's all ready to go. It's right next to my notes page. So I can write about the, uh, the memory or the <laughs> imagined memory of a stormy night overlooking the escarpment next to where we live. And uh, so I can either write it in the notes here or put a little letter and tuck it in the pocket there. So that's it. Before I finish for today, I just want to, uh, if for those who didn't see my video, the last video, I want to remind you that I have opening up a Facebook group last week and uh, I'd like you all to uh, join my Facebook group and as an incentive to join I have this offering this little freebie here to download and to create a project and to go over there take a photo go over to the Facebook group I wanted a place where I wanted to create a safe and fun place where you get the opportunity to share what you've been creating from watching my videos and I don't get to do that um, you see what I make but I don't ever see what you make and I'd love to see what you make from my videos um, you know, to see, I, I've uh, heard from your comments, your wonderful comments, that uh, some of you, I've inspired some of you to actually go and do some of these projects. So that's absolutely wonderful to hear that feedback from you. Uh, I have decided to, I made this little tag uh, in the last tutorial. So that's when I did the flip through of the, the journal that I made with um, the paper bags. Uh, I did this um, little card at the end, or tag, but you don't have to make a tag, you can copy what I've done here, and I'll leave a link in the description box below to uh, how I made this card, I keep calling it a card, this tag, and uh, and the link to where, I'll leave a link in the, the description box below, where you can go and get this sheet, and uh, it's for you to uh, join, incentive to join my Facebook group. This is my first challenge for the Facebook group to make something out of it. And uh, I don't know whether I'll always be, you know, advertising on YouTube that I'm going to have a challenge. I may just leave it restricted, or I perhaps will just restrict it to people in the Facebook group. Yes. So anyway, if you create a project, uh, it, does, it doesn't have to be a tag, could be a journal card, whatever, ephemera, you know, whatever you think of. And then take a photo and come and share it on Facebook and, uh, you know, give us a, um, a comment on, you know, if you had that, if you found it a fun project and, you know, if you're new to um, crafting or you've been crafting for a while now, all those kinds of things. If you've got any space, uh, sorry, if you've got any questions about the Facebook group please leave uh, the your questions in the comments section below and I'll try my best to answer them promptly and that's it so anyway thank you very much for watching today if you like today's video please give it a thumbs up and uh, think about subscribing to my channel and I will wish everybody a happy crafty day and I don't think I'll ever have clean fingers ever again because they seem to be permanently inked. <laughs> no matter what I do, I've scrubbed and scrubbed and scrubbed. One day they'll be clean. So I should wear gloves perhaps. Get back to, <laughs> to finalizing. Everyone have a happy crafty day and we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Take care.